Hey there guys, my name is Roxy and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Ethereal Gates. Last time around we visited Auckland Town and we did everything there with the lighthouse, the library. We got some new Pokemon members. Uh, one of our members, Spade, actually got a level up. We even did a trade. And then now we're going to go into the next route here, Route 4. Between Auckland Town and Advocate City. And in Advocate City we already know that's where the next gym is, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's start this route off with a battle. I can see it in the future, and you will lose! Oh, is that so? Because I don't think I will backpacker Beatrice. And she has an ear. Huh, well that's funny, because, uh... I have an ear. Yeah! Uh, okay, so it's probably gonna go for Echoed Voice. I'm gonna go first. What? No, how is it faster than me? I'm a higher level. It shouldn't outspeed me. Okay, this is really bad. We are gonna lose this battle if we stay in. So I gotta switch out. Actually, if I switch out to Krampus now, since Krampus is part ghost, it can't hit me. Here at level 13 shouldn't have any moves that can actually damage Krampus. So yeah. How do you like that? Let's go for the Fairy Wind. There we go, good job Krampus. And Six gets a level up from that too. Awesome. Yeah, nothing's written in stone. Alright, and we have new grass, so we will probably be able to encounter some new Pokemon on this route. Ah, uh, and there's, again, there's gonna be some split pots, aren't there? Uh, okay, well... Uh, I think I'm gonna check down here first. I don't know why, just a feeling. Ooh, what? An Ododé? That looks pretty funny. I don't quite know what it is. It has hat, but... but huh, it looks pretty funny. I don't think I'll catch one, but... I like the design, I suppose. Okay, so this is where we would end up if we go for that item ball. Let's uh, then just get there when we get that item ball over here. Uh, so we're gonna have to go through this grass and then jump down. Ooh, a Fugruff. Okay, we saw one of these on a trainer before, and it was a fire type, we established that. I already have Yatero as my fire type, so I won't be getting it myself. Although it does look pretty cool, and if I had gone for another starter, I probably would have added it to my team. But for now, we'll just run. And uh, I'm gonna jump down, hopefully this item is worth it. A burn heal. Eh, you know, if, if one of the comments is super mean and burns me, then at least I'm covered. Alright, let's uh, take on this next trainer then. Student Catherine. Three different Pokemon, starting off with a Fugruff. Shame we don't have any anything good against Fugruff yet. It's gonna intimidate us. Uh, it will probably go for Ember. I don't... Mm. I think I'm gonna go with Spade, because Spade should at least resist everything it can throw at us. And yeah, this is our first battle with our new and improved Spade. Oh, it burns us? Ah, uh, that, that is pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed then. Oh, you're, you're increasing your attack. That, that's not fun to see. Well, at least we seeded you. Okay, we're gonna go up a bit. And then down a bit. Ah, uh, that, that's not really going to work out for us, is it? Um, I'll see what it tackled us. If it doesn't do a lot because of our burn, then I may just have to switch out. Yeah, that that's really not doing anywhere near enough. Um, I'm going to have to switch out. Um, six can't really deal with this right now. I'll go with Krampus. Come on, buddy. You're new to the team, but I have faith that you can do some good stuff. Okay, at least we didn't get burned immediately. Let's go with the Draining Kiss. Critical hit, but alright, oh not very effective. Of course, Fairy isn't very effective on fire, so that's a shame. And that's really our only uh, damaging type moves at the moment. Well, let's go with Fairy Wind and at least we took down the Fugruff here. Next up is going to be a Timeless again. Um, 
Okay, well, let's switch over to uh, Spade. Oh, that's cute! I want that. What would it be? Normal? It looks kind of normal. But Absorb is super effective, so it's probably not water. Maybe, maybe ground or, or possibly rock? I don't know, it looks cute. I, I think I won one of those, actually. I may have to get one of those for myself. Ah, uh, Sanitec. Okay. Uh, actually, that's pretty bad. Whenever, like, Spade's um, stats get lowered or something, then uh, I sometimes get this message that the game is about to crash. At least I got that last episode when it was on my way back uh, from catching an Avenge. And, yeah, it kind of scared me. To be honest. Okay, well, Spade is hurt, and it, finally an Udoed. Uh, okay, that was that one weird thing we've seen. I'm gonna go with Grizzly because Spade is really not not holding up too well. Uh, we'll go with a Rock Smash. Oh, okay, so it must be Rock type then. Or normal, but it doesn't look like it's a normal type. Yeah, it's using Rock Blast. It's definitely a Rock type, and it's definitely very, very painful. Okay, take this guy out, Grizzly. There you go. Good job, buddy. Whew, she was actually quite tough. I think I actually want to run back to the Poké Center and heal up after that, because that hurt me a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, back here now, above that ledge. Let's take the upper path this time, and huh, more trainers. What's good and cool? Pokemon battles. Uh, yeah, I agree actually. Cool trainer Lou. Uh, another one of these Fugruff. Why are there so many Fugruff around? I need something that can properly deal with Fugruff, because right now I don't really have anything that can do a good job. Uh, it's probably even gonna go for the Ember, so Charm won't matter. Um, I guess I could go with this, or with Echoed Voice. Let's see. Yeah, that, that, that really hurts. That really, really hurts, but we should take it out in time. There we go. Good job, Six. Next up, it has another Fugruff. I'm actually gonna keep battling. We got, of course, another Intimidate, but we're using Special Attack. But we've been using Echo's Voice so many times, maybe it will be super powerful this time. Ah, oh, he got very close to taking him down in one hit six. Very close. All right, Spade, you can come in. And finish this guy off. Good job, we didn't get burned there. And Spade is level 14. I hope Spade learns like a rock type move soon. That that would definitely help us with uh with those things. Um we can go all the way down there. That looks like a very suspicious spot. Uh yeah, I'm I'm gonna explore that. Cause this looks way too suspicious, doesn't it? It does to me anyway. Is there something here? HP up. Okay, well, we uh, figured it out. Okay, now let's get back on the main pot. And we have a bug catcher. I don't think the bug type is the superior type at all. Sorry, Henrietta. But a team of four. Oh, a Hojakun. I'm really tempted to actually switch out. And I think I'm actually gonna do this. Uh, Cufflink, because it should only harden, and if it does, then Cufflink can get some good experience. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep Cufflink in my party, but it's like a bow, bow tie tuxedo bird, which is pretty cute, I have to say. Ah, uh, actually, we might actually be able to do this by ourselves. Yeah. Okay, Cufflink. Oh, no, it has, it has moves. Okay, it has moves. Cufflink... Just come out here. 
Uh, we'll, we'll let Yataro burn it up, but you'll get some experience for participating. Participation points, yay! Okay, it's going for Absorb, doesn't do a lot, so we should be absolutely fine. Now let's go with the Flame Charge. Yeah, that, that hits the spot. Yeah, Cuffling grows to level 5. Learns Tackle, grows to level 6. Next up is a Pole Bee. Uh, no, I'll leave uh, Yatero out for now, actually. I don't think I want to switch grind on a Pole Bee at the moment. Let's just go for the Flame Charge. Oh, that, that did pretty good. Not quite enough, but pretty good. Oh, Leech Life, yeah, that does nothing. I could have probably switch grinded pretty easily, but at this point it doesn't matter anymore. Let's see, what do you have next? Okay, a Magona, that was one of those um, cocoons, so I think on those cocoons it's definitely worth it, because they give a lot of experience. Although I know it does have some moves, so I am gonna switch back out for Yatero and not risk getting damaged. It's just a shame our speed boost is gone now, but eh, that's okay. Poison Sting, yeah. See, it, it can definitely do damage here. Okay, Flame Charge. Oh, we don't need our speed boost. We're way faster anyway. Good job, Yatero. Acid Armor. That raises its defense. Uh, we'll go for the Ember just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Cufflink level 7, level 8. And Yatero level 16. Next up is a Moston. Um, I think actually Grizzly is their best bet against that still. Because Rockgrass is a pretty weird typing. It, it, it's weak to very few things, but fighting is one of them, and uh, Grizzly can fight alright. Ah damn, no defense drop. And it's gonna harden, so that's gonna make things even more annoying. I really would like a defense drop here. Nope. Ah, uh, we got unlucky twice. Um. Yeah, this, this might get tricky. At least it's not leech type. Okay, there we go. Now we get our defense drop. Oh, it's going for absorb. Well, that's okay. With its defense drop, we should be able to finish it off here. Yes, we do. Good job, Grizzly. Let's Henrietta down. Yeah, no, sorry. Bug types aren't superior, but... Oh, Yatero is evolving. Awesome. Okay, let's see what our cute little kitty turns into next, then. It is... An Arsoline. And it learns Thundershock? Wait. It becomes a fire electric type. That's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, screw Scratch. I'll learn Thundershock over that. Okay, cool. So. He is now. Fire electric, yeah. Cool. Still, still has Blaze. But that, that's pretty cool. And actually, his special attack is actually slightly better than his physical attack. We'll have to keep that in mind. Let's go for the next trainer then. I have a team of different kinds of Pokemon, so we can't lose. Uh, yeah, I think you can. Collector Chuck. Well, starting off with a Magnet. Well, that, 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 that was probably a Steel type. At least, that's still what I'm expecting it to be. So, that's a great... First battle for Yatero to show off his new form. Ember, one hits it. Sorry, Magnet. Okay, next up is a Squeaker. Um, Grizzly can do that. Because that was a normal type, if I recall correctly. That was the little mouse, right? The little sound mouse? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Rock smash it up, Grizzly. Boom! Another super effective hit. My team is too diverse to deal with your diversity. And Zuzumi. Wasn't that normal type? 
And I'll leave Grizzly in. And we'll do another Rock Smash. Oh, you're growling me. That's not nice. Rock Smash? It's not super effective. So it's not a normal type. Well, let's go with the Covet then. Oh, Static. Right. Oh, right. It was Electric type. I think I remember now. All right, break to paralysis, Grizzly. There you go. Good job. We still take him out. And level 70. Yep, type diversity is is all it's cracked up to be. You just still lost because my type diversity was better. All right, let's see. There's a hiker up here. I'm gonna grab this item though. A super repel. Nice. Mm. I'll skip that hiker for now. I'll, I'll go back and fight him later. I want to know what's down this ledge. Looks like there's going to be an item here. Hmm. Oh, we can go all the way around here. Wow. There's an item over there. Okay. I'll grab that. A great ball. Cool. 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 Um, oh, there's an item over there too. Okay, let's, let's run back then and... We'll go grab that. And that's a super potion. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, what else is over here then? Is this the end of the route? It looks like it is. Yeah, that, that leads to Advocate City. Okay, so we don't want to go to Advocate City yet. There are still some trainers that I can battle on this route and some more stuff I can get. So let me explore a little bit longer. Ooh, an Everstone. If we want to keep someone from evolving, we now can. Um, okay, but down there, there's a few trainers and then, like, the end of the route. So we know that. Let's actually uh, go up here then. And see what we can find up here. Wait, she doesn't battle me? So much tall grass. I wonder how many Pokemon live here. Huh. Yeah, I guess I wonder too. I do wonder if I have found all of them yet. Ooh, a grass gem. Huh, might be worth to give to... Uh... Oh, hey! It's a Dimeless. Okay, I said I wanted one of these, so I should probably go ahead and catch this. Uh, Thundershock has a chance of paralysis, I hope. I think. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Oh, right, because it is... Okay, it must be ground then. Um, okay, let's go with an ember then to weaken it. Oh, that hit hard. That hit really hard, but that's actually pretty good because now it is in prime catching territory. Let's go for a Pokeball. Let's see if we can catch this thing. Two. Three. Bingo! We got it. A Dimeless. Badger Pokemon. Dimeless scurry about, searching for ground soft enough to burrow in. Their burrows help them shield from the hot sun in summer months and the cold in the winter. Yes, we are. Because I think I'm going to put it on my team. Alright, I'm going to name it Fearless because honey badgers are fearless, fierce creatures. And it's not Dimeless. This one is Fearless. Okay, so it goes to my box. We'll have to pick it up in a little bit. First of all, let's see. We have a little house over here. A little cabin and even more of the route over here. Okay. The mountain terrain. It's beautiful. I wish I lived in northern Lenica where the real mountains are. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You should move. Okay, let's check what's in this cabin here. Hmm. Howdy, I'm a mechanic. I make a living fixing things. If there's a time you think you need something fixed, come find me. Your Pokemon seem tired. I can fix that. Oh, well, that is awfully nice of you. Okay, so if we need anything fixed, we can come to this guy. That's interesting. I, I, I'm sure that will come in handy for something at some point. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually run back to the Poke Center now. And... Uh, pick up my new Pokemon and then we will finish off this route. Battling those last few trainers. 
So yeah, I will uh, see you guys in just a moment. All right, and here we have a look at our fearless Daimless. It's a docile nature, so no stat changes. Its ability is defiant. When its stats are lowered, its attack increases. Oh, that's a great, great ability. Okay, leer, scratch, bite, and sand attack. And yeah, it was a pure ground type. Okay, cool. Let's add it to my party and meet you guys back over on Route 4. Fear the wrath of my rock Pokemon. Yeah, I'm I'm not too scared of you, Hiker Buddy. Hiker Kristoff, he has a Girder. Oh, we haven't seen that before. That looks weird. All right, Fearless, you can come back out though. I'm just sending you in to get some experience because you need it. Ah, oh, it's so cute though. I'm so happy I have it in my team. Okay, Grizzly, come on out. And it's gonna go with Sand Attack. Well, that's annoying. You Grudorf, let's Rock Smash you. It's not very effective. I thought it was a rock type. What could it be then? Is, 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 I'm gonna confuse it anyway. Okay, that, that might help a little bit. Oh, it's weakening electricity's power. Okay, well that doesn't matter, I think. It's lick now. All right, we also get the paralyze off, so it's parafused, as people like to say. Is it bug? Because it's using leech life. Nope, we miss. Damn it. Yeah, it looks like this is actually a bug type, because it is going to raise its defenses, or it does harden you have leech life. And yeah, that seems to do normal attack, so. This is probably a bug, so you lied about me. You said you were gonna take me on with your rock types, but you're not. That was a bug. Okay, um, next up is gonna be an Udode. Okay, I'll switch in for Fearless again. And then, uh, let's see, yep, that's the Udode. And then we're gonna switch back out. And this time it is a rock type, I think, so. This time we should be able to be pretty good with our Rock Smash with Grizzly. What are you gonna do though? Right, Rock Blast, that is still a dangerous move. Luckily it only hit twice. Because that, that can really hurt. Alright, that did a lot of damage, plus we got the defense drop. That's nice. Now one more should finish this off. And there we go, that takes care of this hiker here. That's my third loss today. It's crazy how Pokemon are so cute and so strong at the same time. I know, right? Some of them are so adorable, yet they're still strong. Okay, Backpacker Natalie, you're gonna send out your Fugroff. Ooh, level 16. That's quite a high level. Well, we have Fearless here. Oh, you're, you're intimidating me? Well, here's the problem, buddy. That actually raises my attack. It doesn't lower it. Although, I think we're still not going to be too good with taking attacks. Let's go with a bite and see how much it does. Okay, okay, you did way too much damage to me. Like, like, way, way too much. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Yatero. Because at least that Yatero can tank fire damage pretty well. Yeah, Amber shouldn't do too much. And we can actually go for the Thunder Shock now. There we go, that works. Okay, let's go for another Thunder Shock then. Hmm. Doesn't do quite as much as I would like, but it does decent enough, I suppose. Hopefully, we can get Thunderbolt at some point. Fearless is level 12 now. Next up is an Albalu. Okay, I'm gonna send Fearless back out just to get the experience. And, uh,. Then we can take out this Albalu too, I suppose. Uh, so let's switch back out. Who do I want to have for this? Uh, actually, yeah, Yatero would be great for this. Because we can now Thundershock and it's a water flying type, so that should do a lot of damage. It's gonna go for Water Gun, that will be normal. Wait, it's still super effective? Electric doesn't resist water? 
Well, that's new to me. At least we took it down, but that, that's definitely actually good to know. Well, at least they're still cute. That that they are, that they are. Okay, do you want to battle? Up ahead is Epcot City, the bustling town full of lumberjacks. It sure is a lively town, considering it was built within the forest. I'm sure it was. Well, you know what? I think we will be entering Epcot City or Epcot Town next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you are down there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video. And I will see you all next time for more Pokemon Ethereal Gates.